In this video, we will compare the essential features of two popular action cams, the DJI Osmo Action 6 and GoPro Hero 13 Black, and how their recording modes, image quality and hardware hold up side by side. First, let's take a look at the sensor, since this is the biggest and most important update of the Action 6 compared to the Action 5 Pro and the GoPro Hero 13 Black. DJI has opted for a new generation 4 nanometer chip, resulting in an enhanced night mode and a high dynamic range of up to 13.5 stops, while the GoPro features a 12 nanometer chip. The 1 over 1.1 inch square CMOS sensor with 2.4 micrometer fusion large pixels of the Action 6 allows for a 4K custom mode that records a square video at up to 60 FPS and in 4 by 3 aspect ratio at up to 120 FPS. The 1 over 1.9 inch CMOS sensor of the Hero 13 has 1.2 micrometer large pixels and a maximum resolution of 5.3K in 16x9 at up to 60 FPS and 5.3K in 8x7 with a maximum frame rate of 30p. The advantage of DJI's 4K custom mode is the flexibility of reframing the footage in post for different aspect ratios such as vertical and 16x9 without having to crop into the footage and losing resolution. GoPro's 8x7 aspect ratio could be used in a similar fashion but is limited with frame rates, lens correction and has a lack of multiple stabilization options making the Osmo Action 6 look like the more versatile option. Being the first action cam with a variable aperture of f2 to f4, the Action 6 delivers a shallower depth of field than the Hero 13 that has a fixed aperture of f2.5. f2.8 on the Action 6 is ideal for daylight recordings, while f4 has a deeper depth of field, increasing the minimum focusing distance from 35cm to 20cm and creates a starburst effect when filming towards point light sources. DJI has upgraded Super Night Mode recording to a maximum of 60 FPS in 4K with the option of setting the aperture to f2 to gather more light. The Hero 13 does not feature a dedicated night mode, but light sensitivity can be manually set to a maximum of ISO 6400. Both cameras can record a flat color profile for grading and post. DJI's 10-bit D-Log M is available in almost all video modes with the option of turning on a color preview, while GoPro's 10-bit GP Log only shows the flat image preview. Additionally, the Action 6 offers multiple film tones that can be baked into the video when setting the camera to normal color. Standard color on the Hero 13 does not feature film looks, but the option of switching between vibrant, natural and flat. Let's take a look at the exterior and practical use. Both cameras are similar in size, with the Action 6 weighing 149 grams and the Hero 13 weighing 154 grams. Each camera has a screen on the front and back, but only the Action 6 allows for full touch functionality of the front-facing screen. The two OLED displays feature 326 ppi, while the GoPro's LCD monitors have 292 ppi. Regarding storage, both units support microSD cards to save photos and videos, but the Action 6 can also save files onto the internal 50GB storage, making the use of a memory card optional. Even though the battery capacity of the two devices is similar at 1950mAh and 1900mAh, in practice the Action 6 can record for up to 4 hours in 1080p with one charge while the Hero 13's battery roughly lasts for two and a half hours when set to 1080p. When it comes to recording audio externally, DJI offers their own lineup of wireless microphones, including the Mic 2, Mic Mini and the Mic 3, which I'm wearing right now. And these allow for dual connection, which means wireless connection with two microphones simultaneously. In comparison, the GoPro only allows for one wireless connection, which means one microphone. And for this test, I'm also using the same microphone, the DJI Mic 3. Each brand offers a dedicated macro lens with a manual focus ring reaching from 11cm to 75cm, but due to the aperture of f2, the Action 6 can create slightly more background separation than the Hero 13. Regarding mounting options, DJI has implemented an upgraded dual direction quick release system on the bottom that supports new and previous generation gear such as selfie sticks and other accessories. 
The GoPro features a magnetic dual latch mount and has a quarter inch thread as well, which can be useful but usually takes longer to switch between setups due to the screwing mechanism. Although both cameras have advantages of their own, the new sensor technology clearly shows improvement is still possible even in such tiny devices. If you want to learn more about these action cameras, make sure to check the description box below the video.